told him I feel that this is a fraud, and they kept saying, no, this isn't a scam. Alicia Gaskins is a hardworking mother of two from Waterbury who knows the value of a dollar, which is why when she got a phone call in late October from a man telling her he was from the U.S. government grant department. They told me that I was selected to get a $10,000 grant check. It seemed too good to be true. They told me it's a personal loyalty grant that I got from being a taxpayer. It's a one-time thing. The only problem with what she was being told, however, it appears it was all a lie. He told me the money would be in my account by 7 o'clock the next morning, and the money never was in my account. Alicia tells us when she was first contacted, she was instructed to purchase and then put funds on a green dot card. So I went to 7-Eleven and I got the green back card like they asked me to, and I read off the numbers on the back of the card so they got the money. A lot of money, some $510 to be exact. We tried to see if we could get a hold of the people Alicia had given the money to, but all that happened when we got on the phone was... The person you're trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message after the beep. Alicia says she's learned her lesson and plans to work with law enforcement to try to track down those responsible for taking her money so she can move on with her life. I've been calling them for days now trying to get my money back, and they keep telling me in order for me to get my money back, Russell told me I had to send another $149 to them because they already had my file. But at least so far, that's proved easier said than done, as she's still getting phone calls telling her the money is almost in her grasp. That is, if she can cough up just a little more cash. Yesterday they called me saying that they have a $9,000 check for me, and they're waiting for me to send some more money so they can send it to me.